In 2011, Corridor Modeling Modeling is made easier by introducing further in-place editing tools via the Context Sensitive Ribbon, making complex modeling such as this example of a 3D roundabout much more simpler. This currently is one region. By selecting the corridor we can now split the region so we can target the centre lines and crown lines for the width and slope. Now using edit targets we can isolate the region and assign the center line for width and slope. Next let's do the other access road in the same way. We now want to change this area to look at the ICD. Now looking at this model we can see that we will need to do the same parameters for this section. So why not use match parameters just like we used with AutoCAD. Finally this section we need to remove the extra lane, so we change the assembly. So overall you can see that we've quickly set one part of the corridor in a much more interactive way. Super Elevation in 2011 has been enhanced to give a wizard based approach and also give a higher level of control. The Super Elevation is now no longer part of the alignment properties and can be accessed by clicking on the alignment. The wizard takes you through the roadway type, configuration and design criteria requirements. The table view gives you a report on what has been applied as well as the labels in the drawing. Also you can see from the table design the alignment highlights as you move through the table. In 2011 the key change to super elevation is that the super elevation is now based on the geometry rather than the chain of gestation and also dynamically updates. For even more control, a diagram view can be used to override the application of super elevation by using grips and dynamic input.
Cross-section sheet production has now been added to complete the core drawing production from the civil model. By choosing a template with a section viewport assigned, we'll set up your section placement. Under the section display we can choose which labels to display and also focus them on the design. For the annotation in the bands we can choose which is the proposed surface and which is the existing ground. Finally place them in the drawing. As you can see the sections are all grouped to fit the sheet size and the available drawing space. Now we can create the sheets and all the viewports and layout tabs with the drawing border automatically. Finally we can see that there are a number of trees close to the road, so adding them to our sections would help us understand their location. By selecting the sample lines we can now project multiple views which can choose how to analyse objects around the vicinity of the sections. As you can see our trees are now displayed on our sections. Keep up with the latest news and out of the box tips at our blog site at autodesk.com from the ground up.